Hey guys, Parallel here, and welcome to Star Trek Online. In this video, I thought I would do a quick guide on how to get your crit rate above 20%, or right around that range. Now, I've actually gotten this question quite a few times on some of my build videos in the comment section. People have been asking how I got my crit rate up to 20% plus. So I thought I would do a quick guide on you know, what combination of gear, traits, and uh, bridge officers will get you to that amount of critical hit. Now, it's not that 20% critical hit is any special magic number. It's, in fact, very complicated, uh, the calculation between how much critical hit you want and how much critical damage you want on your ships. Um, if you want all the details and math on that, there's a lot of good threads on the uh, Reddit page, the uh, STO Builds subreddit. So if you want to get into all the math about that, uh, feel free to go there. In this video, I just want to give a just a quick guide on how to get to the critical rate that I use on my builds, and then ex just explain why you know why that's kind of a good base or a good starting point going uh, forward. All right, so I'm here on my Federation tactical character, and uh, so that is the you know the base. I'm not going to be doing this on my Romulan. Romulans have some. Uh, you know, some racial traits that help them get the crit rate even higher. So I thought in this case I would just do, do it right on a uh, Federation character, just so you can see how that it can also be done with the Federation character. All right, so I'm on my tactical Federation character, and I'm here still in my Vodwar Astica battlecruiser. And what I've done is let me go head out into space, and you will see how I have my ship currently configured. And what I will do is go through exactly all of the equipment that I use um, to get that crit rate up to 20%. All right, so here we go. So like I said, 20% is not a special, special magic number. But in my opinion, there is a very low opportunity cost to get your crit rate to that point. And... That is, I mean, a lot of the things, a lot of the equipment, traits, and whatnot that you use to get to that level of crit are easily obtainable, or well, relatively easily obtainable, and th there's not much else better in those slots that you can use, so there's not a lot of opportunity cost. And the other nice thing about once you get to that crit rate, then it becomes very clear if you do look at the math, it becomes very clear that once you get to that 20 or so percent crit rate, after that, it, it's much better to focus on crit damage or regular damage mods on your weapons. So once you get to that, you know, that base 20 percent crit and you start to figure out what kind of weapons and what mods you want on your weapons, it's generally start, you know, it's generally at that point much easier to just focus on damage or crit or crit damage on your weapons. So basically, don't have to worry about getting critical hit mods on your or accuracy. Accuracy is pretty terrible anyway, but you don't have to worry about those other mods going for those other mods on your weapons because your crit rate is already to a good enough point where you know you can focus more on the damage side. Okay, so you can see right now I'm on my uh, Vodwar Astica, and let's go down here. You can see my crit chance is 2.5 percent, and that is your base crit. So I've basically stripped everything off of my build that gives you crit percent. So what I'm going to do is slowly add each of those items back in and reslot all of my traits and bridge officers that help get that up to, in fact, my crit rate on this build, which is 23%. All right, so first thing, let's do the consoles. So there's a couple of easy consoles you can get to help you out with your crit rate. So the one of them that's very easy to get is the zero-point energy conduit right here. This is part of the Romulan set. You get it from the Romulan faction, and you can see it gives you 2% crit chance. This is a very easy console to get. Um, you can get it at a very low tier of your Romulan reputation. So if you go over here to your reputation tab, go down to Romulans, um, new Romulus reputation, it's a very easy project that you can build and uh, it's not even doesn't require a very high tier so even you know even when you're a fresh level 50 you're starting to work on your reputation you can very quickly get it here this is your zero point energy conduit it only takes 500 romulan marks and 15,000 dilithium and you only need tier one rank it's so very easy to get 
So let's go back here and you can see when I slotted that, it gave me the 2% crit chance and that gets my crit now up to 4.5%. Let's keep going here. So the next console you can get is the assimilated module. This one you can see gives you a 1% crit chance. Uh, I do have this at Mark 14. It is a slightly, I think it's like 0.8 or something at Mark 12. But these consoles are very easy to upgrade, so I'd recommend you know going ahead to upgrade them uh, once you get enough uh, tech modules. So let's go ahead and throw this in there. That gets us up to 5.6% crit. And again, this one you can get from the Omega reputation here, your task force Omega reputation. It's a, again, a very easy, cheap console to get. It only requires uh, rank one also, I believe. Yeah, tier one. And again, it only requires 500 Omega marks and 15,000 dilithium. It doesn't even require any rare marks or elite marks. All right, so we're getting there. Those are two easy consoles you can get that help out your crit rate. Now the next console I use is the uh, Temporal Disentanglement Suite. This one you get from an actually an episode reward. And this, you get this from the episode uh, Butterfly, which uh, I'll just quickly pull up my episodes here. Um, it is in the Iconian story arc. It was just the previous, uh, actually, no, now it's, yeah, now it's two episodes ago, Butterfly. And you can see here it is in the uh, reward, so you can replay that mission to get this reward. And this console is a little bit interesting because it does have a variable amount of crit chance it will give you. It will give you up to 2.5% crit, and it's based on your auxiliary, auxiliary power. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. And that got us up to 7.9% crit. Um, if you have a higher auxiliary power, um, I think it scales up to 2.5% at 100. So I'm actually slightly below the max. Um, in my build, I do have a plasmonic leech, so it will max out when I'm in combat, but right now it's not. So that is a very nice console to get. It also gives some crit severity and other nice goodies. Um, and then the last thing is the tactical consoles. So for the tactical consoles, you want to use these. These are the vulnerability locator consoles. And you want to get them for your energy type, in my case, anti-proton. So these have plus AP damage. You get these from your fleet spire. So you either have to be in a fleet or you have to get a fleet invite to another uh, or a map invite to another fleet. And uh, they, if they let you into their spire, their tier three spire, you can go to the vendor there and purchase this. It costs 50,000 fleet credits and 10,000-ish dilithium. So it is, these are the probably one of the harder, uh, you know, consoles to get. They are quite expensive. I mean, 50,000 fleet marks takes a decent amount of farming. And you need to, you know, you'll need to get four, at least four of them for a cruiser or five of them for an escort. So um, kind of make that one of your long-term goals. You know, you can start out with just your normal, uh, you know, anti-proton mag regulators in here for, for extra bonus damage. But these locator consoles really are hugely, hugely better because of that crit chance. And you can see I do have them, have, have them at Mark 14, so they do give 1.8% crit. At Mark 12, they get a li little bit less, I think 1.6. So I slot four of these in, and there we go. We're up to 15% crit. So far, so good. We're getting there. So those are the consoles you want to get. They're very easy. There are, of course, other consoles out there, like if you have uh, a lot of Lobby crystals, you can go to the Lobby store and buy the uh, Bioneural Infusion uh, circuits or the um, tachyokinetic converter. I believe those both have crit chance on them. And I think they might also have crit severity. Um, but uh, those are other good consoles to consider. But like I said, these are all, you know, very low opportunity cost. They're easy to acquire, relatively easy to acquire. They don't require like low B or anything special. Um, and they do give you a lot of crit chance. And there's not a lot better you could put in those slots. I might go into a little more detail about if you'd ever want to use the uh, the other vulnerability consoles that give you um, uh, the severity instead of crit chance. There's a lot of complicated math behind that. For the most part, I would say probably just 
be safe and just go with the crit chance because it is a little bit more bang for the buck as far as uh, amount of stat bonus you get. So start with the vulnerability locators and worry about the other variants later. All right, so the next thing you want to look at is your traits. Now there is a key trait here that you want to equip and it is a space reputation trait and it's called precision. Here it is right here, it gives you a 4% crit chance. That's a really good trait. I mean, no reason there's I mean, there's no reason not to equip this. So, go ahead and we'll slot this in and that's just 4% crit right there. Now you get this trait from the Romulan reputation again, but you will have to farm a little bit more for this. You have to get your Romulan reputation up to I believe it's tier 4 to get the space traits. No, no. No, no, no. Here it is right here. It's only need tier 2. So that's not bad at all. Tier 2 Romulan, you can get uh, Precision. Okay, so nice. That's even easier than I remember. So let's see what we're at now. We go back to our stats here. We're up to 19%. Now, you're probably wondering how you get those last few percentages. So what you need to do to get those last couple percentage points is you need some special bridge officers. I'm going to go over here to my bridge officer stations. You can see I don't have any tactical officers slotted right now. And that is because as a Federation character, you can actually get a hold of Romulan bridge officers that give you a special racial trait, the racial trait superior Romulan operative. And, you know, often called SRO for short. And let me go down here to my, one of my, um, Romulan, one of my Romulan bridge officers here, and let's go over to traits, and here we go, superior Romulan operative. Gives you a 2% crit chance and a 5% crit severity. And these are pretty much, still to this day, pretty much the best, you know, this is the best racial trait you can get on a bridge officer. There are some other cool traits with the, uh, you know, with the new uh, research facility in your fleet. Um, they reduce cooldown times and things, but I mean, if you're just going for flat out damage, I still think this is pretty much the best trait you can get on your bridge officers. So as a cruiser here, I can slot two of these. So that's another 4% crit I can get. And there are some Federation ships where you actually have, can have three tactical officers and like, or also like the Frangi Nandi, um, that you can get on your Federation characters can also slot three tactical officers. And in that case, you could get an extra 6% crit from your bridge officers. But in this build here on a cruiser, typically you only going to have two at most, uh, tactical bridge officer seats. Usually one's a, even a universal, usually only one's tactical and then one universal you can pick. So I am going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to slot my two Romulan officers here. All right, and there we go. Let's head back here to our status. And there we are, crit chance, 23%. Now, you may be wondering how did you get these Romulan officers? Again, I, they are something you need to get from your fleet embassy. So either you need to be in a, a fleet with a uh, Romulan embassy, I believe it has to be at least tier two in order to get the these particular Romulan bridge officers. It could be also tier three. But these particular Romulan bridge officers, there's actually only one variant. When you go to the uh, embassy, the fleet embassy, um, and go to the vendor where you actually buy these Romulan bridge officers, the one you want is actually the rare one, not the ultra rare. So you want the blue quality and it is the male tactical uh, bridge officer. That's the only one that comes with the superior Romulan operative trait. They are pretty expensive. So that's 80,000 fleet credits and 20,000 dilithium. Those are probably the most expensive ones. So it'll take more time to farm up those uh, Romulan bridge officers. So if you want two of them, that's 160,000 fleet credits and um, 40,000 dilithium. So probably in that order is how I would do this. You know, go for the consoles first. They're a little bit easier to get, give you the most bang for the buck, get the trait along the way. 
the precision trait, and then you know spend your time to work on getting these Romulan bridge officers and put your fleet credits there. You can also get a fleet map invite for these as well. Um, so if someone invites you into their uh, into their fleet embassy, and then you can buy them that way. All right, so that is basically just a really quick guide on how to get your crit rate up to that 23% that I'm showing here on my build. Pretty straightforward, not a whole lot of complication. You know, and there's a lot of, you know, just some short-term goals you can set for yourself. You know, if you're a new level 50 or level 60, you know, look into getting all of these consoles and those bridge officers and also the precision trait. There's really not a lot better you can put in those slots, so it's a very easy choice to work, you know, right for those, right for those items. And once you do have those, you can spend the rest of your time trying to get, you know, your perfect weapons with perfect weapon mods. Because, like I said, I mean, you can, you know, you can always look up the actual, you know, detailed math to figure out, you know, how much crit chance you want versus how much crit severity. But it is easy to get to that 20 plus percent crit chance. And at that point, you can just focus more on getting up your crit severity or just going for all-out damage mods on your weapons. That's kind of the approach that I would recommend. All right, everyone, I hope that guide helped. That's how you get your crit chance up to 20% plus on a Federation character. And uh, yeah, good luck. I hope you have fun working towards that goal. And trust me, it will really help out your damage, especially once you start getting the, you know high... You know, once you get the the weapons you want in there with the high high damage mods or crit crit damage mods on there. All right, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.